Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, I'm sure everyone's been watching the news, seeing what's happening in the Ukraine, um, seeing how the, the, the people there are suffering, see how they, seeing how they are being displaced, being chased out of their homeland, being um, killed, bombed, shot at, uh, driven out of their places of safety and their, their homes where they, they've built families and, and built relationships and now I'm I'm kind of speechless as to the amount of evil that is going that is being sort of pushed towards this this country by basically one megalomaniac. Um I was watching uh, mothers and children and, and the elderly um desperately, desperately trying to board trains to leave the country. I've been hearing stories about um open uh, sort of ceasefire areas where these people can actually leave where Russia is allowing them out but they can only go either to Belarus or to Russia and if they don't go that way they are fired upon I mean there are all these stories I understand that the media likes to um, make money out of the suffering of others I understand that the, the that news is actually only um, what would you say bad news is cells okay bad news cells and i do believe that that the suffering of these people is being kind of um it's being used to sell news if that makes sense but at the same time this this is reality this is real these people are suffering terribly and i can't think of anything worse than having to take your children take your animal or animals and flee flee from your home leaving everything everything you've you've loved everything you've cared about and cared for um everything that that you kind of stand for leaving it all behind and having to rush away and run away and and escape death basically that's what you're doing you you are escaping death um leaving everything that you that you have as a as a human being that you've worked towards and worked for you have to just leave it all there and just run away you know and hope to god or gods or whoever you pray to that they will you will find a place that you can you will be welcomed a place where we, where you will be safe um and my mind just boggles at the at the amount of of destruction and evil that is happening um in the ukraine you know and happening to the ukraine um i heard on the news this morning and again sort of bad news cells, but still, um, I heard that um, a maternity hospital in the Ukraine was bombed and pregnant women were injured and, and killed. And who does that? Who, who does that? Who bombs a maternity hospital? Um, the, 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 the pure evil of that deed just boggles my mind. Everyone's saying, are we going to go into World War III? And you know, this is a terrible thing to say, but human beings create so much suffering that maybe we should be wiped off the earth. Maybe humans are the ones that should disappear, you know, um, because there is so much, um, as I say, you know, there's, there's so much suffering in the Ukraine and there's suffering not only in the Ukraine. I mean, people are going to say, yes, but look at Afghanistan and yes, look at this and look at that and all the poor in India or all the poor in Africa even. Um, I understand that, but that's, I think one of the things that this whole Ukraine thing has, has shown me or has opened my eyes to is how just how much suffering there is in the world. And I understand that we are now focused on the Ukraine and the people trying to escape and the babies trying to you know, be protected by the parents and that sort of thing, people living underground in bunkers and, and railway stations and metro stations and stuff like that. And I get it, I understand those people are suffering, but there are so many other countries where suffering is just part of daily life. You know, um, look at Afghanistan, look what happened there um, with with the, the whole um, Biden administration pulling the, 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 the troops out, Taliban taking over. Um, those people also suffered. Those people are also suffering. Look at countries in Africa um, where they have despots as, as leaders those people are suffering and you know what's interesting about suffering is it's generally within wartime 
not generally it's always the people on the ground it's always the the um the common man you know the every man that suffers it's not the generals it's not the 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 people in the in the in the parliament it's not the president or the dictator it's the people on the ground that suffer let's look at the uh, talk about the russian people for a few seconds here the ukraine has been having the shit bombed out of it all those people are dying but what's happening in russia the sanctions that have been put on russia are going to cause such suffering to the russian people that's the problem that's why sanctions are being looked at in such a you know from all angles let's say the people of russia are also suffering and why again because of one man and his insanity his absolute insanity now you might be on the side of russia you might say yes but x y and z i don't care what excuses are put out there for russia's invasion of the ukraine what is happening is mind bogglingly evil you don't no matter how, how much you agree with putin you cannot possibly agree with bombing a maternity hospital killing innocent civilians yes they're casualties of war it's such a it's such a cold thing to say isn't it people suffering the people that are suffering are the casualties of war um yeah okay i still find that incredibly evil i think it's one of the most the most heinous acts you know um as i say people in russia are now suffering because of their president's um, obsession with with ukraine so it's not only ukrainians russians are suffering people on the, the you know the the even the the rich people there are suffering poor people are at their wit's end they now they 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 because of the sanctions and everything the whole western world has turned against against the country how do you come back from this how do you pull back from the suffering how do you how do you lessen the suffering i, I don't know i don't know that answer it's suffering on a global scale because at the end of the day people you and i are going to have to step up to the plate and say you know what um, we have suffered enough oil prices means gas prices in south africa we call it petrol um so that's all going up which means food goes up which means electricity goes up which means x y and z um you know it might the fighting might be happening in a place that we don't even know about in a place that we've never heard about you know it's just a speck on the map somewhere we don't even look at and yet it has a global effect if this this war is going to cause suffering for all of us you me everybody it might not be on the scale that the ukrainian people are feeling it might not be suffering where we have to run into the bunkers and try and get out our children out of a situation where they will be killed it's not a situation where our, our babies and our our children are going to be scarred for life and carry that that horror with them for life but we will be affected and we will suffer in ways that we will have to deal with the fallout from this war is going to be global it's already starting we in south africa are already feeling the pinch our petrol keeps going up americans i know your petrol's just gone up i know a lot of people in america i have, have family who live in america they um everyone's saying oh, we we can't afford to live like this you know we are battling the more the more gas prices go up the more the food prices go up the suffering is global people and all i want to ask you today is let us send in a good energy out there i know it sounds trite but if we all everyone who's watching this video if we can all just say a prayer for the ukrainian people that this war ends quickly and that their suffering can be reduced and their suffering the, the the end to their suffering can be quick you know um i don't know i i'm kind of at a loss for words in today's video but i just felt very strongly about doing this video i feel that it i don't believe it's political and sorry if you are um, if you feel that this is a political video it's not that it's not my intention my intention is to bring awareness to the suffering that is happening as i say not only in the ukraine but all over the world because of one war and one man's 
I don't even know what you, you could call him crazy, but crazy doesn't do this. Anyway, that's my 10 cents worth. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and I will see you on the flip side. Thank <laughs> you.